Hi everyone, my name is Nina. For today's interactive presentation, we will be working with gummy bears. And so just some background on this experiment is that gummy bears are made up of three things. That includes sugar, starch, and gelatin. So what is gelatin? Gelatin is a polymer and pretty much what that is, is it's a structure made up of a small repeating unit. And so that's what forms that three dimensional structure, which acts like a cage, then giving the gummy bear its actual structure. So let's talk about what we're gonna need for this experiment. So for one, like I said, and have shown, we need gummy bears. Uh, secondly, we need distilled water and salt water placed into cups where then what we're gonna do is we're gonna place gum, a gummy bear in the distilled water and then in the water with salt. And the directions recommend letting them soak for six to 10 hours. I aired on the shorter side, so I'm at six to seven hours. And so with that, let's take a look and see how the gummy bears look. So first I am going to grab the gummy bear with distilled water. And one in here is six hours and the other is eight hours. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I'm already seeing, oh, I have to switch these around really quick. What I'm already seeing with the gummy bears that have soaked in the distilled water is they are a lot bigger um, and I would say even more like swollen and they've kind of sort of lost their structure when comparing it to the normal gummy bear. So let's just take a quick look. So we got our normal little guy and then um, we got these guys. So the orange one was soaking more around seven hours and the purple gummy bear was soaking more around um, six hours. And so, yeah, it's, it's pretty swollen, pretty big. This one's like pretty deformed, I would say. <laughs> so now let's take a look and see how the one that's been soaking in salt water looks. Not what I would have predicted. Let's put it a little closer to the normal guy. I predicted for it to actually shrink and could have just been because I aired on the shorter side, but this is the green guy that's been soaking in salt water compared to the normal gummy bear. And and then we come over here and we look at the one with distilled water. So I am happy to see um, how deformed these are, how swollen they are. So that means that's a success. And then with the normal compared to the salt water, I just feel like maybe I didn't add enough salt in the solution. I made sure that it was fully dissolved. But with that all being said, um, when I did place the gummy bear in water, Let's talk about what exactly happens. Um, the water is then moving into the gelatin, gelatin, and that is because there are more sugar molecules in the gummy bear than the water itself. And so that's what's gonna allow the gummy bear to grow and give us that more swollen look. Um, and also lose its shape and structure, which as we saw, it totally did. And so along with that, um, because of the water rushing into it, uh, this then is gonna result in being a hypotonic solution in which the water is going into the cell or in this case, the gummy bear. So now let's look into the gummy bear that was soaking in the salt water. And so here, the water is gonna move out of the gelatin since there are more salt molecules in the salt water than actually in the gummy bear, which should cause it to shrink in size. 
Um, and in this case, it would be a hypertonic solution, meaning that the concentration of the dissolved substance on the outside of the cell in the water is then higher than the concentration of the sub substance inside the gummy bear itself. Um, so like I said, it did appear that a lot of the salt, if not all of it, was dissolved. Um, and so I feel like what could have contributed to shrinking the size would have been adding more salt and allowing it to soak longer. However, comparing the three, we still see quite a difference. And so I would say this experiment was a pretty cool way of demonstrating hyper versus hypotonic, along with looking at gelatin and what it will do when it's re reacting with just water compared to um, salt water. And so thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys, you know, learned something and hopefully it goes well for you. Have a good day. Thank you.